Hello, African sports fanatics. Welcome to another episode of Safari Soccer. I'm your host, Yvonne Eta. Today, we are crossing over to South Africa. Um, my guest is a former Kesa Chiefs player. Please like introduce yourself to the viewers and uh, kindly take us through your football journey. Okay, hello everyone. Hello viewers. My name is Lagi Kune. I'm from South Africa. I'm 31 years of age. Uh, okay, yeah, that's it. I think that's enough. <laughs> Just a little history of your football journey, how you joined Kaiser Chiefs and uh, wherever, you, whatever team that you are playing for right now. Okay, like, uh, I don't know where to start, but I'll just make it simple. But then I started playing uh, my football career from Kaiser Chiefs development. That's when I started taking it serious. So I joined uh, the development in 2008 and mm -hmm. then I was promoted in 2009 to Kaiser Chiefs first team. That's when I started enjoying my football. Even now I'm still loving the game. Yeah. yeah. So after that, I played for Kaiser Chiefs for three seasons and then I moved to United FC. It's in the first division. Yeah. Yeah, around South Africa. And then I played for Vasco da Gama. It's in Cape Town. It was also first division. And then I joined Chipa United. From yeah. Chipa United, yeah. yeah. Just that I can't remember when was that. But then after Chipa United, I joined Paperwa. Yeah which is the current team. Okay. Yes. Now, I think it's uh, this year you went for some trials abroad and you, 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 you thought you would, uh, maybe you would make a move and play abroad. What happened? Okay, I think because of this COVID-19, that's when everything started, like everything stopped. Yeah. As I was about to make a move to Uzbekistan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so even now it's still uh, it's still on hold. Still waiting for my agent. As much as I'm still waiting okay. for my offer at that side, which is I would really like to, to come play that side. You know, like it's it's a good feeling and to to play challenging football, you know. Yeah. Yeah, as a player, like you need to move around like worldwide and experience more. Now, is it right if I say um, that you are struggling to land a deal? You have been struggling to land a deal with the PSL side or even NFD side, and your representatives have been trying to secure a move outside South Africa. Has it bought any fruits? And is it true that you are struggling to land a move uh, with the PSL side team? No, it's not like I'm struggling. Yeah. Like, as you know, we have a lot of uh, football players. So I can say for now is the chance for others. But I believe that God will open doors for me somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, but then I, it's not like I'm struggling. I won't, I won't be lying to you. It's not like I'm struggling. Oh, OK. And yeah, uh, I've been enjoying my football in Barbera, so maybe that's why. <laughs> okay, and uh, there is a, a fun because I put up I put up questions that I'm going to host you, and then somebody a fan asked that you the just your current it's just uh, related to the current questions the question that I have asked and i think you have answered because that the deal is on hold right now because of covid so yes. can i just uh, maybe you clarify if you are you are hoping that you'll earn a move to finish your career on a positive note after an underwhelming few years in local football like i said uh, i think if i can get an opportunity in kenya yeah Maybe that's where I'm going to finish my career. 
okay. on a high note. Okay. You know, because like even the style of play, I think it's different that side. So I'll, I'll be having a lot of challenges, which is huh? as a player, I have to accept them, you know. So, <sighs> okay. <laughs> no, let me stop right there. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, <laughs> you, you have just talked about Kenya and then uh, right now you, I guess you are looking for, a, okay, you're looking forward to play for a team that maybe... Oh, yeah. Uh, you you can uh, finish your career at a high note. So does it mean that yeah. your next move, are you planning to make a move and play for the Kenya Premier League? Yeah, that's what my agent told me. That okay. he's busy with something that side. So again, uh -huh. I'm hoping everything uh -huh. goes well so that I can come and play a comp competitive football, you know. Yeah, so on that one, I'm still waiting. I, I pray Almighty each and every day to open doors for me because I'm hungry to come play that side. <laughs> Welcome to Kenya. So any team, in, uh, any team, or we have to wait for. <laughs> we have to wait till the no. last minute. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, as he's still busy with it, so uh, maybe by next week, oh. he will give me the feedback what's happening oh, because okay. he said he's still busy with it. Yes. Okay, now I'll see you. There's an uh, article. Maybe you talked to, you talked some time back that it will be an honor to finish your career on a high note and to retire knowing that you have healed from your stress and pain. Your family and supporters <laughs> are, have gone through through your career. Please cl just clarify to us what pain, what's this stress that you went through during your career. As a player, you're facing a lot of challenges, especially yeah. from the supporters. True, true. You know that you can't you can disappoint when you're on the pitch, you know, and yeah. those people out there are the ones that are going to make you play, you know. So every time you go to the pitch, you have to give your all best, you know, to make them happy. And yeah. then they're going to lift you up and your performance, of course. Yeah. Like you're gonna be on top of the uh, the flight, you know. So I can say uh, about the stress. I don't think I had a stress. My stress was the supporters. Okay. As long as I make them happy, yeah. as long as I make them happy, <laughs> that means I don't have stress. Football is stressing, you know, well, yeah, because yeah. you you're not playing alone on the pitch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so as long as you have good teammates, someone, uh, some people that can uplift your spirit if you're down, you know. So once you have good, uh, good players and players that have a strong character, yeah, you know, yeah. So about the stress, uh, I... and so how how does how does one overcome this this the kind of uh, this kind of pain? Maybe some. Uh negative talks from fans how 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 do you manage to overcome such let me say from Kaiser Chiefs yeah it's where I learned a lot of things because it's a professional team as you know it's one of the big teams in Africa yes you know so yeah they they used to teach us on how to deal with uh things like that you know yeah, yeah. so so of course, you're going to get uh, uh, negative comments from the fans, you know. So you have to lift yourself and believe in yourself because God is always with you, you know. So, yeah. Talking of case achieves, okay, there, there are some, uh, some football fans who say that you that you were signed at Chiefs because of, of the influence from your brother? There are no trials, no nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it was just okay. Let, let me share you a, a piece of this story, man. Okay. Yeah, my brother uh, he came here in 1999 in Johannesburg to come yeah. play for Kaiser Chiefs Development, okay. and yeah. I was back home 
been fined or so. Mm -hmm. So what happened was that um, while my brother was this side, every time during our school holidays, I used to come visit him and I will just borrow his boots, uh, training stuff, you know. And then he was asking me, why are you going? And I said, no, I'm going to play with my friends. While I was attending the trials for Kaiser Shades mm -hmm. development. Yeah, up until uh, December 2007, that's when uh, Coach Ace Kuzi, he said, uh, we need you now, so we need your transfer because we want to sign you. We need okay. you to come assist the team. And then I was like, wow, like I've been waiting to hear this, this, this words, you know? So I was excited and I said to him, no, I will tell my brother to organize everything. He asked me, okay. who's your brother? I uh -huh. said, my brother is Itumeleng. Itumeleng who? Itumeleng who? Yeah. He was like, <laughs> you know, like, uh, I never thought you guys are brothers, but I saw, like, you guys look alike. Example, yeah. You know? Yeah, you do. Yeah, but... <laughs> 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 yeah. So that's when my brother came, and then everything went, like, because I trained the development, I played, I used to score each and every game. Yeah. I was, yeah, 2008... I became a leading goal scorer. 2009, I became a leading goal scorer before I got promoted to the first team. Okay. Yeah. So we played our last game against Platinum Stars, mm -hmm. whereby we won 1-0. And I was the goal scorer. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, and coach Vivi Vladimir Vemezovic was there. We didn't know him because... He was a new coach for Kaiser Shield. So by the time he came to the ground, we didn't know who's this white guy. Okay. But it was the right guy who was going to promote me. So they read they uh, the news that there's a young guy, the striker, he scored each and every game. So yeah. they thought uh, they were giving them false information there by the office. And then they came to, to the ground and then I scored the winning goal. That time uh, we won one nil and we took the league. Okay. So after that, oh, I think we have lost our guest. Uh, let me see if we can get him back. Uh, hello. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Oh no. Let's let's try again. Let's let's try if we can get our guest again. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, okay. sorry about that. Okay, I welcome don't know. back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Welcome back. We lost you, and then I was just wondering how we were going to finish this interview <laughs> without. Oops, again. sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. 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 No. Yeah. Uh, so, or can I continue? Yes, you can. Okay. So yeah, as you are still pushing me. I didn't know that I was going to the first team up until our training on Monday. After training, he told me that uh, tomorrow they need you there by the village. Okay. You must you must go there at nine o'clock. You must be there. Okay. Yeah, that's when the shock came, and uh, I was like, Jesus, what am I gonna do? Imagine playing with all those players. Okay that I yeah. see on TV, big names, you know. So I became nervous, a bit nervous, up until I was there. So that story, uh, I can say it's a false information <laughs> that my brother, I went there because of my mm -hmm. brother, because we play a different position. Mm -hmm. He's a yeah. goalkeeper, I'm a striker. Yeah. I'm very yeah. far from him, you know. So everyone focuses on his job. So I don't know what are they saying, if they saying that I went there because of my brother. Yeah, everyone went for himself, I can say that, but we support each other. That's the most important one. Okay, let's stick to case Chiefs. While you are at Chiefs, you are strike some Colando Pirates in the Telecom Charity Cup in 2010. There were expectations that you are you are going to be one of the country's top strikers, but two years later, you are clubless and before joining Chipa United, what went wrong? I don't know what went wrong because <laughs> I, rem I remember very well, I was injured by that time. Okay. Be because uh, we played Derby against Orlando Pirates. And then oh, the next day while we were doing recoup, the other guys were doing recoup and as we were doing some positional game, you know, and then it happened that I broke my muscle. So I went for an operation. And after that, while I was, the, while I was still busy doing my rehab, I got news that uh, I'm, I've been released, you know, and then as I was still nursing my injury, because it took me a while, while I was still busy nursing me. Yeah, but now I'm fine, I'm under it. It only took me uh, those months, but now I'm back on my feet, you know. So I just wanted to relax because I wanted to go back to school uh, during that time. So I just took a break from football oh, okay. because I was hurt. I didn't know like why was I released because I was starting to play and I was improving each and every game. So that's what, that, that's what hurt me the most that time. But now, like I told you, I didn't let that thing kill me or get into my head and become someone else because I love football. So that's why I ended up uh, playing football again because it's in the blood, you know, and I grew up playing football. So I can't just let something that I like fall in pieces, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So let me, okay, I had asked you about your brother and then uh, let me just ask, uh, is there, because there are some fans who say that you are just lucky as your name and also because of your brother. So is there any way that your brother has, uh, has, in, has been an influence in your football career? Uh, to be honest, I can say, my brother motivates me a lot and not just only me, like uh, most of the players, you know, because he's good at what he's doing. So we look after him, you know, so 
that's what I can say. And I don't like to compare myself with him. Like I told you, he played different positions. So I don't see myself competing against him. But yes, I can compete on scoring him and him saving my goals. That one, yeah, we can compete on that one. Okay, and then you have told me that uh, you you took a break from football because of your injury and also you yeah. went back to school. But there is also a statement, uh, Baberua chairman was on record saying that your business needed your attention. Is this the reason, is this also one of the yeah. reasons you're out of the field? Oh no, this one, it, it was uh, last year things. Yeah, yeah while I was still playing for Barbera. So it happens that I want to open some business. Yeah. And then I had to choose between football and business. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then my heart, it's, a, it's on the other side, which is football, yeah. not business. Because, you know, like it's the, the love of the game, you know. Yeah. So what happened was that I spoke to him, uh, to the chairman of Barbera, and then he gave me a go ahead that I can go start my own business. And then while the business is on a good shape, I can go back to Barbero and join them. And that's what exactly happened. Because now, even now, I'm still with them. After my business was, was okay, you know, was stable. So I went back to Barbero. And so how is your business faring on? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, I'm still it's looking it's... for more opportunities. Yeah. You know, because you can't play football until the age of 50, but you can do business until yeah, yeah. the age of 60 or 70, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. So that's my aim. For now, since well, I'm 31, maybe by 35, I'll be retired from football. That's where I'll have time to focus on my businesses. I like starting the new ones. Yeah. I think you are one of the players who have uh, who have had so much negative critics. Now, how? Because some football fans say you don't have talent and that you are overrated and has never been mm -hmm. a threat. How do you handle such critics? Mm. <laughs> I just wipe them away. Only God knows. <laughs> God he knows why I'm there. Why I'm playing football? Yeah. Not them. So I listen to, I take uh, most of the comments that are positive, you know, the yeah, negative yeah. ones I just said, of course, out of 10 people, one has to be negative. So I just yeah. take that comment to, to the disappointment room, you know, and then I just continue with, with life. Great, great. So sometime last year, you were also linked to a move. You are to join Bidvest. How did it go? I think it was January, <laughs> January last year. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I was supposed to join the guys and then I met with the coach, Coach Kevin Hunt. And then as much as other people, they didn't know, you know, but he told me that, <clears throat> sorry, he told me that the, the club has been sold. So they cannot sign players. What they need to do now is to release other players because there's no more beat this vid. and okay. I thought maybe it was just a story you know but then I saw that it happened yeah okay and then you are also you are also on record saying you wanted to create your own legacy do you think you have accomplished your mission yet not yet okay. I'm still going there I still have a long way to go okay <laughs> I think at this moment yeah at this moment it's where I enjoy myself you know because I can say I've matured uh, in football, you know. So right now it's where I want to build my legacy. I started last year to say now I'm building my own legacy. Okay. And I'm still going, still keeping the same momentum, you know. Yeah, so up until God says no, that's when I will stop. He's the one who's controlling me. <laughs> <laughs> so how long are you planning to do this before you retire from football? I gave myself five years. Okay. So by the age of 35, I want to retire from football and focus on something else, you know. So that's why I want to finish my career on a high note. That's why I'm saying 
getting an offer in Kenya, that's going to make my, I don't know, I don't know, but my everything. So, like, I'm going to be much more, more happier. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to ask you where mm -hmm. next, but I, I think uh, we already know where next for you. It's Kenya. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I think... Uh, no, like I have other offers, you know. Yeah. I have other offers in Tanzania. I also, okay. have, I also have an offer. And then, like I told you, I'm still waiting for the one from Uzbekistan. But I believe Kenya will do since well. You made an interview with me, so yeah. <laughs> let me say thanks to you oh, for welcome. opening doors for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So as as we wind up, uh, you know there are um, a lot of players who maybe go through a lot during their journey. There are players who face a lot of challenges. There are upcoming players who maybe are not ready for these challenges the critics from fans that from everywhere I, and i think you are one person who has managed to overcome such critics maybe just to, your advice to them and how to prepare your mind psychologically so that you you can be able to overcome them yeah like there's one coach who used to tell us that this is a men's game okay. so you need to have big heart so I can advise the upcoming players, that's the future we're talking about. Yeah. That they must go for whatever they want. They mustn't stop anyone. So they need to be positive in everything that they're doing. And they must do it with happiness so that they can enjoy it. You know, once mm -hmm. they on the pitch, they must make uh, most use of it, you know, and enjoy themselves you know, so that they can build their own legacies and names, you know, like it's good to, to leave a history behind. It's, it's not all about money, yeah, yeah. you know, because that's what I'm saying, football, once you're there, you're on the pitch, you forget about a lot of things, you know, even the money, you can forget that uh, today I didn't have this much. Once you're on the pitch, you want to stress after. But if you want yeah. the game, you won't stress, you, want, you know, yeah, it's yeah. the happiness. Yeah, so they just need to wake up, listen to the coaches, um, to the advices, you know, that they get in from others, even though it's not coaches, but parents mostly. And they must also go to school. It's very important. Like, school is very important. I didn't know that while the parents were telling us, you need to balance school yeah. and football and i and i thought no i like football not school forgetting that football it's a short career so you need to have yeah. something you know after football yeah. so they must go to school respect it's one of the keys you know and uh, yeah they must motivate each other thank you very much for gracing this episode of Safari Soccer Show. To our viewers, please don't forget to subscribe mm -hmm. to our YouTube channel at Safari Soccer. Press the bell icon. Follow us on all our social media handles at Safari Soccer on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you very much once again, Lucky, for accepting our interview. And I wish you all the best in your football career. And I hope you come to Kenya. <laughs> okay okay thank you very much uh, Yvonne I hope so too that soon you'll see me that side maybe we'll be doing the interview live yeah, you know, yeah. that's what I'm hoping for yeah but thank you very much uh, for making this interview with me you're welcome okay thanks bye